Hey guys, welcome to 40 Rounds of Chris Ford, AKA 40. So this video is gonna be me doing 13.1 miles or a half marathon. Um, I thought it'd be cool to actually um, vlog uh, uh, me doing that distance. And as I'm going along, I'm gonna give you a few tidbits uh, along the way to let you know what I'm doing. Uh, and hopefully it, it will help you if you're doing a half marathon this year. Um, stuff like when I'm fueling, uh, what my pacing strategy is, uh, and how I'm getting on. Just different little tidbits that I try and uh, work through when I'm out there doing that distance. So uh, yeah, let's get stuck in. Hey guys, welcome to Footy Run. So yeah, this is my video on um, half marathon. I'm actually gonna vlog it for you. Um, I thought it'd be quite useful actually to take the old GoPro out and film it as I'm going along uh, as part of my marathon training. Uh, one of the distances I'm at up to at the moment is 13. 13, 14 um, miles. Um, so yeah, I thought it'd be cool to get out there, take the old uh, GoPro out and actually film um, my strategies I'm going along. It might be useful for you if you're working up to a half marathon race this year. Um, so yeah, different points along, uh, along the way. Um, you know, with regards to fueling, strategy, that kind of stuff. So let's get stuck in. So, uh, Sunday morning, gonna run 13.1 miles and uh, hopefully uh, let you know how I do it, give some tips along the way, give some strategies, and uh, but yeah, so uh, let's get stuck. Okay, guys, so these first one to three kilometers just need to be going nice and slow, warm up, settle into your pace, don't be a hero. But yeah, so I'm trying to find my slowest pace possible uh, so I can build into it. So 5.50, 5.55, I'm looking to do this first kilometer in, then I'll build up. So you need to do the same uh, for that first one to three kilometers. And then, uh, okay guys, so it's uh, three kilometers. You should be uh, well into your pace now, worked out what you're doing, warmed up. Like enjoy yourself. So I'm marathon training, so my my splits are a little bit odd because I'm deliberately going slow. If that makes any sense? But I say the first three kilometres, especially one and two, you should just be warming up into it. Three, find your pace, and then between three and five, set your pace. Hey guys, lap uh, lap five, I should say. So it's five kilometres. So if you do the half marathon. Break the race down or the distance down in two halves. So we're halfway to a halfway, if that makes any sense. Mentally, that's a good thing to do, just break it down. So, five kilometers, you should be, say, feeling good. Checking on your running, uh, how you're running, like you, uh, make sure your heels are striking properly, you're not leaning too far forward, you're looking up, all that kind of stuff. But I've got a massive hill to do now. Love the views, guys. Um, so, just a tip for so just down that big hill. If you've got any hills in your in your route, short stride up them. Don't try and run up them. Shorten your stride up. Take your time because you'll make the time up on the way down. But then, at the same time, on the way down, don't run like a nutter. Let gravity take you down. Lean back a bit. Uh, I say, let gravity take you down. And the time you kind of lost on the way up, you'll make up on the way down. And when it's really hard going up that hill, don't forget, you've got to come down it. Okay guys, 45 minutes in, should be thinking about fueling. 
Uh, I take one of these. Everyone takes different things, jelly babies, jelly beans, sports shoes, stuff like that, but I take one of these. So if you're doing a half marathon, 45 minutes, start getting some carbs into your body. These are strawberry, they're not too bad. So I'll just have a little bit over the next uh, half a kilometre, make sure it's done then, wash it down with uh, fluid. Hmm. Hey guys, so should be halfway by now. Um, and you should start thinking now about your next 5k. It's the most important part of your race because it's where your time's going to be lost or gained. So if you've got it there, go now and check your pace. Put your foot down a bit, see how you feel. If it's not there, step back, don't worry about it. It's another day. But see now, between the next 5k, what you got in the tank. Okay guys, 45 minutes left. You should be taking another gel, get through to the finish. So, you should be on 15K now, or just over. This is where you need to feel how your body is, and uh, see what we've got left in the tank. If you've got a lot of, uh, lot of energy left, go for it. You've got 5K, pace yourself, really start building into it, and when you get to like 2K left, at the distance, really see what you go. But yeah. 5k left, you should start pushing on, see what you got left in the tank, if it's not there, don't push it, it's no point, you just want to finish, but try and get yourself into a point of where you can see what your body's got, and I'm saying, you've only got 5k left now, and uh, you can really cut your time down if, you, if you're feeling it and you've done the work early in the race, so good luck, okay guys, you should have 2k left. If you like me, you're a bit out of breath, but uh, this is the time. Go for it. You've got to just push on now. Once you get 1k done, you'll see the finish line. So just got a last stretch. Hey, under me. This is the old bit. But you should be striking it out, giving it your all. You care across that finish line. So that's it, guys. Should have done by now, well done, congratulations. Important thing is to stretch now. So keep walking, stretch it off, but you've done it, 30.1 miles. Well done, hope that helps. Hi guys, yep, so that's the 13.1 miles done. Um, hopefully that was uh, useful for you. Uh, so I've thrown a couple of different bits in there, like the fueling and, and stuff like that. I feel a little bit differently when I'm doing my marathon training. Uh, but because I did this purposely, I did the 13.1 uh, miles today, I fueled a bit earlier. Again, that's something that uh, may be useful for you. Um, if you I'm going to put up the, uh, my splits so you can see them to see what I was doing and, and when I was playing around with the pace and stuff. Uh, but if you've got any questions or if you want to ask me anything or you've got any comments or anything about this video, stick them below. Don't forget to hit the like button and if you're enjoying it all, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel as well because there's plenty more videos coming along. So yeah, hope that's useful and I'll catch you later.